Hi guys, I'm Tsuyoshi. Today, I show you over under pass, which is kind of an inside pressure pass by stepping over one of opponent's leg. Then from the position, I show you several ways to guard pass, and then as an option for advanced people, I show you never. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. All right, I show you a way to the guard pass, like over under, basic entry. Right? Then from standing, then we have no contact with each other. Then first, I just want to make a grip on the pants like this, on the edge. No rise means. I prefer to grab here to have a lot of options. And then I slide press on the leg. Then I take a step to the side, like getting his leg between my legs like this. Okay. Next, I will drive my shoulder on his belly. Okay. By the time I do, I look at the side, and then I make the under hook against his left leg. So over under I make. Okay. From now, I'm gonna fall on my shoulder. By the time I fall, I will grab his belt with my right hand. Look. Under to grab the belt, and then I fall on my shoulder like this. Okay, I want to make sure that I hold his leg under my legs like this. So that's why I push his leg, and then once I push, I switch my grip that comes outside me like this. I fall to push. Okay, as soon as I push, I switch my grip as I push his knee between my knees like this. Okay, then this outside my hand, arm. I wanna open the leg like this, okay? And then I can split the leg, like making it over under. Then okay, once I set up, I'm ready for the guard pass, okay? The first one is just like a bit of reverse switch, okay? You see, drop my right leg in order for me to pass, okay? So from this position, I slightly take a walk to the side, and if I open his legs, and then next, I do the reverse switch. Before I do, like, I step like under his leg, okay? And then, I do the back step. Okay, after I'm like this, I'm going to control the leg. hips, okay? I slide my right knee under the leg like this. Then by the time I do, I do release of the pants step, okay? Then I just want to grab the knee side of the belt, okay? Around here. After I'm like that, okay? Like I said, I'm not going to control his upper body. Especially this time, he's stay active on his upper body, so if I try to control his up, only his back to escape. Okay, I should once. So here, I pass his leg over, and then I'm about to control, and now I feel like this, look. Right? I gotta do something against his frame. That means his back to move his hips away, like he did. So that's why I gotta keep his hips, like hold his hips to stop his mobility. Okay, in this position like this. Then when he's gonna push my shoulder, but it's okay. okay? I'm gonna control his hips. Like sliding my right arm into his legs, like this. Okay? Then, even though he doesn't hit the same, look how he shakes his hips. Like this. Okay? I just want to ignite the upper body at this spot. Okay? The first one, I want to kill the hips. That's the most important thing. When a time you, like when a time you wrap to the gun pass, like you're going to keep, stop the mobility of his hips. And then, once you make him calm down, you're ready for the next process. That's about controlling the upper body. You can even start with like half step out. Not from this position. If I want to go this way, okay, I come like this, not like coming to the knee side base. Then I make over under. On this side, I grab the pants. Then other one goes under his leg. Then when I time I fall, I want to make sure I use my left shoulder, right? I'm not going to use my right shoulder. This is like a wrong example. If I go like this, seems like it's similar position to each other, but so this time, I expose my shoulder, okay? He's able to push my head. Okay, this position, okay? I wanna use my left shoulder to pin him, right? I'm not gonna use my right, okay? I show you the way, that's a wrong example. So here in this position, okay? I can now feel the gap. Then he can easily push my head. That's how he defend the gap, like this. Okay? Once he push my head like this, this is the same as I was the arm drum. He's gonna come up, then I will get attacked. Especially the time you do the gun pass, you have to make the angle with your opponent, like making a cross. So in this situation, you can use your left shoulder as if you look at behind like this. And then you can set up the angle for the gun pass. Okay, so in this position, look, I look at the other side and then I pin him like this. Okay, there's another thing I want to avoid. Okay, I want to not to put my knees on the mat like this, right? As I do so. So that's pressure. Okay, most of my way on my knees. That means he doesn't feel any pressure from me. He's able to push me away. It's like a cross his leg. There's a lot of things he can do. 
like in this solution, three five seven like this, you get a push like this. Then I don't even have mobility, so I can do chase him every time he moves up. So that's why I want to make the tripod, like using my shoulder and feet. This type of face, like this. Then I don't want him to cross his legs as well, like this side, and then cross his legs like finger pole. Then I'm in trouble. So before he does, I want to spray his leg right? against his right leg. I use both of my legs like this. Then against his left leg, like, I want to use my arm, like opening, right? When the time I do the movement, I want to have access. So I grab his belt. If the belt is not available, I just want to grab the pants and then I open his leg like this. Then it's a bit difficult for him to cross his legs for a while, especially the time I do the battle pass. Open his legs like this. And then from this solution, I do a back step. So this is the time you are unbalanced, so that's why you're very careful. Even if you switch it like this, not going to look up like this. Okay? So make sure you bow your shoulder on his belt all the time, like this. And then you connect with your opponent. Then from this solution, he's like pushing for sure, but it's okay. Well, I like this, so I'm a right arm that he looks like this. Then I do another belt on this side. Here. So this is the time after you've gone past. Stay okay, here. I look at the other side. Then I just have fire against his friend. Stay okay, here. You guys need to skip several times. Look. I just want to stay connected with his hand. Like this. Stay short several times. Like this. Okay. And then he cannot get back to the girl. As you can see, my right arm is still stuck, like after the gallop pass like this, okay? So I need to pull out my arm, right? This is another important thing, okay? I'm not gonna raise my hand up like this, right? The worst case scenario, he's gonna be able to trap my hand and arm, then it's kind of, this type of battle trouble happens. So that's why right after I get out, I use my head to block his leg. Then he cannot pass his right leg in front of my face. Then after I make it calm down, I'm gonna pull out my arm. Okay, I pull it out and then I just want to hug his hips with my armpit. Right? Then I even grab the bell like this, and then I stabilize. Okay, actually another way to pass the leg out, especially the time you set up over under position, opponent doesn't like your pass, so that's why they're going to trap your leg so hard. Then, like this type of position, like if you trap my leg, yes. Then, like sometimes I may not be able to do the reverse switch. If I try to move, I may to lose the balance. So in this case, I just have to do a different approach, which you like her, okay? He can trap my leg. As you can bend his knee like this, okay? So that means once I can straighten his leg like this, he's not be able to trap my leg. So I want to make this happen. So in this situation, okay? At the moment, my tie is around his tie, okay? That means I cannot straighten his leg. So from now, I just want to slide down and then as if I pinch in his shin, like below his knee. So in this position, look. Here, lie below his knee like this, with my tie like this. So I like this one, I can straighten his leg like this. Then, he can not use his heel to trap my leg. Then from this position, okay, I do the windshield wiper, right? I keep on pinching his leg like this, and then I circle my right leg. Like this, okay? I straighten his leg, then I circle. After I go like that, I will do the same approach as the last one. So I like, like his leg, and then I grab his leg. Then it's going to be a battle. I can see he's not really thin, but it's okay. I just keep it really tight. Okay? Once I let him come down, as a last technique, I pull my right arm, then I stay like this, like this. Hey, you can combine two techniques. At the beginning of the time, you can try the first one, like a reverse switch, backspin. Then when the time is difficult to do, you switch to the windshield wiper. So here I set up, I will do the windshield wiper. So this initial, I do reverse switch. But I start to do he, he will like stretch his leg like this. So in this case, I slightly take a step back to pinch like this. The way the time I do, like her, uh, my tip on the point like inside like this. I'm not gonna open my knees like this. I close my knees as fast as I can, and then I straighten it. Okay? The way the time you do it, you want to make sure that you keep on pinching 
leg. Okay? Not going like this. As soon as you reach the pressure on the leg, he's able to trap it like this. So that's why you gotta keep on squeezing. And then you use below your knee. Like this. It's like under. And after you like this, the same, you grab the tail, then you stabilize like this. Well, as an option, if you can make the saddle to the opposite side completely, it's gonna be like approaching as like leg track. That can be one of options. Like a lot of side or like this. Okay? Usually he wants to be like face to face turning this way. But if you can make the pressure properly, you can come to this type of direction. See? And completely make it face other side. The same is approaching as like leg track. In that case, it's gonna be way better, like easier for you to maintain a position. And an inch longer. Then, if I want to do this type of approach, I'm going to slide my knees more before, like this. Okay? And definitely, he's going to hit the same. So against this, in this case, I just want to drive my foot on the mat on this side, like blocking his completely with my head. Like this. Now it's harder for him to hit the same. Even if he tries, his hips are completely locked. Then, after making him come down, I pull my right arm as like before, and then I stay in that position as I connect your approach. Okay, next one is kind of. Uh, Submission, like tricky attack, knee bar. Then, this is only okay for brown belt and black belt in average rules. So I want you to keep your mind like this, okay? So the same thing as the last one. I said over under. Then I turn it up the, the back seat, the windshield wiper. But sometimes I'm never able to do that. So the heels even push my shoulder away like this. Okay? I'm getting lower, it's like my shoulder is below his belt line. So in that case, I'm getting harder for me to do. It's getting harder for me to do the pass. But on the other hand, probably he is, is in this situation, he wants to stretch his legs to push me away. Like before I do, and before he will escape, escape. Like this, I'm like a start his legs. Like in order for him to push me away, yes. That kind of situation. He's also ex extending his both of his legs. So in this case, you shift to the submission either, okay? So first, I'll adjust the angle, like uh, I put my belly on his knee, okay? like I'm turning my hips, this one. And then, I make the gable bit on my hands. I let go the belly bit on this side, and then, I hold it, like looking like this. Then another thing, I want to give my right leg shallow as well, that comes behind his heel. Okay? The time I do over under, my leg is around his knee. Okay? Like slide it down. I can even use this reaction. So here, if it wants to push me away, in this case, I move it down. Okay, I want to make sure that I trap this heel with behind my knee joint with my rider like this. Okay, then I make the gable to trap on right side like this. Then once I set up from this position, as if I'm using my belly like doing scroll, and then I have pressure with me. Okay, from standing, I do a gap pass. I drive my shoulder to the only pick. Look, if he's still, like pushing me away. So in this case, I raise the grip, then I trap like this. Then I want to make sure that I make a proper angle. If he needs a point of this direction, like not from my belly, I can apply pressure, okay? The knee is the same as the arm bar. Like you want to be able to straighten his leg. So you want to make this type of angle in order for you to finish knee bar, okay? Not gonna apply pressure from outside knee or inside or like around this other part. So stay like this heel and tie, and then with your belly, you apply that pressure. Like this is pro. Okay. So here. This position, I start to adjust the angle. Then I move down. Look, I wanna make sure that I trap around his heel, not here, okay? This is how I straighten his leg, okay? He's gonna push me for sure, but it's okay. I just adjust and then I reinforce the fairing with both of my hands like this. Then once I set up, I'm gonna use my belly like in a scroll. And then I apply pressure on his knee. 